Hey, I'm Sophie, and this is Boo, not the dog. Today is February 28th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today's lunch is chicken nuggets, a cheeseburger, and a sandwich. The joke of the day is, what do you get when you cross a shellfish with a rabbit? I don't know. An oyster bunny. Mm -hmm. Bye, maths. Hey Mavs, as we close out our reading challenge this week, just a reminder to connect teachers to make sure you give your students at least 20 minutes to read. And then at the end of the week, if you'll mark the poster with who earned the first, second, third runs in the home run and turn it in to Mrs. Rodell, um, I will get the baseball tickets to the kids who earned all four runs when we have those in. And then all staff, remember this is your last week to pass out tickets as you see students using reading in their daily lives. Um, give the kids a chance to win and you a chance to win as well. Students, remember to bring those um, reading books to um, library with you this week so that you can work on the reading challenge and um, earn your ticket. And we'll work on our goals so we can finish strong. Hey everybody, my name is Sash Sarchi and I play basketball at May South High School. If you've been to any of our games, I wear jersey number 33. I also compete or play uh, baseball and football for the school. I use reading in my daily life by reading this toughness sheet with things to be tough in, in basketball. Um, reading this helps uh, toughness on the court and helps me play better on the basketball court. It also teaches me life skills and helps me become a better person and better at my future job. Thank you for letting me share a little bit about how I use reading every day in my life. Good luck, have fun, and go Mavs. Hello everyone, this is a Rubik's Cube, and these Rubik's Cubes have come a long way. This is an original prototype of a Rubik's Cube, invented by Erno Rubik in 1974. The first ever solve of a Rubik's Cube took the creator a whole month. But apparently we've come a long way because the new world record is three seconds! You want to know how long it takes me? It takes me average a minute. 20 times longer than him! But that's enough about me. Let's go interview some people who are actually good at these cubes. <laughs> okay, so both of you, tell me your names. I'm Landon Kerner. My What's your Bobby name? Yolda. Great, and um, how fast can you guys solve Rubik's Cubes? Around 50 seconds. I can do it around 25 to 20 seconds. How long have you been um, cubing? Three to two years. About six months. Oh, that's pretty good for only six months. Okay, so what was your place at the comp competition in North Derby Middle School? Our place in the team competition, we got third. Yes. And then and, the solo? And then solos, I got fifth or sixth. I don't yeah, uh, there was somebody from our school, I think, that placed in the top third. But yeah. yeah, our school got third. What did you get in the solo? I got a 40, mm, 42 and a 35. It was around 10-ish. Okay. okay. What inspired you to start cubing? Was it like a YouTuber? Yeah. Which one? It up in my recommended. And I was like, ooh, that's pretty cool. Three years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what inspired you to start cubing? Uh, my baseball team gave me a Rubik's Cube, and I just uh, was kind of annoyed when it wasn't solved, so I learned it and got faster and faster, and it was fun. Just kept doing it. Awesome. So you guys both use the same method, CFOP, right? Yes. Awesome. How long did it take you guys to learn CFOP? Five. I'd say, like, two weeks. Two weeks? Okay. Five days. Oh. Five days? Whoa! Both of you put your cubes on the table. Scrambled, scrambled. 
Um, I'm gonna count down from three and I want you to solve them. In three, wait, observation time? Three second observation time. Three, two, one. Oh, nice. Ooh, that was quick. Okay. Okay, observation time. Three, two, one. At a real competition, this would be a plus two seconds because you can't be one move away from solve and put your hands on the table. Gosh, two second penalty. I guess the interview is done. Thank you guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Handshake, formal handshake. <laughs>